Yo, what is up guys, Matt Wick here, and we are back with another NHL 18 testing the draft video. Now, this was a pretty disappointing year for our Winnipeg Jets. We ended up missing the playoffs by a by a good little bit. Uh, as you see, Tampa Bay ended up winning it here in year 2023. Um, so we traded away a lot of our assets, pretty much. Uh, a lot of bigger guys that we had, and we have a lot of picks this draft. And I also did something a little bit different. I know people have been saying in the comments to try uh, pinning players per week or like per scouting and go ahead and see what you get. And this year we had a lot of players in the WHL as you'll see in a second. So what I did was every time I went to scout a different area, like let's say I was doing WHL forwards, uh, which I did a lot actually, um, I would go ahead, look through, pin five players that I was interested in. And then when I went to scout the next uh, next thing, let's say I went Russian defenseman, I'd go into the Russian defenseman in the draft class and I would go ahead and pin five players for that as well. So let's see if we see anything different. Um, I did have a couple guys uh, come out as exact elites pretty early on, but then it kept changing. So it kind of confused me. So it's like it didn't really even matter because I had a guy who was an exact elite after the first time I scouted. And then I think at the end of the season, he was like medium elite is what he went down to or high elite maybe. So he went from exact. So the scouts got a little bit, a little bit questionable on him, but let's go ahead and view that draft class. You guys can see what we've got and really show you what I was. Uh, these are uh, real quick. I'll show you. These are some of the guys. So look at this guy. I scouted him 13 times. I have a somewhat high interest or uh, high scouting on all of his stats. He looks pretty fucking good. He's a top five prospect, um, but only medium top six, which doesn't really make much sense to me, but he looks like a stud. Um, who's the other guy that we got? Who's the, uh, this guy? Uh, let's see. What's his first name? Kip Buss, exact elite grinder. He looks uh, pretty solid. He'll probably come out to be in like the 60 range. I don't think he's going to be any 70s. His stats don't look that good. Um, but Kip Bus could be a guy that we go after as well. Uh, this was another guy. This was the guy who was listed as an exact elite almost all year. Uh, he's a high top six, 20 years old. And look at those overall stats, boys. If he comes out at what he is, he's going to be in the 80s, I think. And he is listed as what? A uh, second round pick. So we're going to grab him uh, with one of our later firsts. And we'll see what, uh, what we want to do with that. Um, but let's go ahead and check the next guy that I pinned up. These are just the guys that I saw that uh, interest me the most. Kip Berhowski, <laughs> Berhowski, uh, exact elite, 19 years old. His stats look really good too. Uh, so we'll see what he comes out to as well, 19 years old. And then we have, uh, who is this here? Jamie Polasek, uh, high top six, 18 years old, sixth round prospect. So we'll see what we get out of this guy. He's probably going to be uh, pretty solid. All right, and this is a look at the top prospects. As you will see, we got them all scouted exact elites. Uh, most of the guys we have pretty good. Uh, so exact top four. So I would say it uh, it did help out a good bit um, at what we got. We'll go ahead and uh, – not player type. I want to go ahead and insert by potential and show you guys what we've got besides that. So let's see. So I guess it's sorted by the butterfly goalies. Ah, oh, come on. Look at all those elites. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I did it one too many times. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So we've got all these exact elites here, all top five guys here. Two seventh round picks are two uh, grinder and enforcer boys. So we'll have to grab those guys up. Uh, this Len Bohemic, um, exact elite. He looks fucking good too. Uh, Piton, another seventh round guy. So we're gonna have to grab these guys up. I hope I have enough picks. If not, we'll trade back. Uh, this guy, another sixth round. Look at all these undrafted uh, and seventh round talents. So we're definitely gonna be trading one of our picks to uh, to trade back a bit. Uh, Willie Brody here for second round, and then we got Svitov, uh, high elite. He looks pretty good. He looks pretty good there. But we got a lot of guys that we're gonna be picking, and then we got a lot of top six guys that we can take in that first round. So this is gonna be a fun draft. Like I said, I loaded up on picks, so we have a lot of them. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot to check the names. So we'll go check the names and see. But I know just going through, none of the big name guys are uh, are really in this. Uh, what was I gonna say? None of the none of the funny names guys are in the uh, top top picks just because I had to go through. But I'll show you guys this as well before we get started. The WHL. Look, pretty much every top 10 player comes out of the WHL. It made scouting and pinning really easily. Really easy, uh, I should say. Um, yeah, but, like, look at this. This is insane. Look at all this first-round talent. Uh, just pretty much uh, very top-heavy there in the WHL. So it made scouting pretty easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at what we've got for names. I hit it twice, so let's see where we start at. If it ever wants to go. Okay, so we're starting at the bottom. Let's go and see what we got. We got Yui there. That's, I think that's an uh, NHL uh, YouTuber. Um, let's see. Do we got anything? We, we have Vaggie Holahi. No, no Vaggie Holahi. I don't see one. Okay. Do we have... What's another one? Wiener? I don't think there's Wiener. I think we already skipped the 
No, let's see. I, I always forget like what names I want to look for whenever I go back through and do this, but we'll see what we got here if we got any good ones. Uh, pretty much just the one I really want is Pecker. We had it. We have a T Pecker on the team right now, but if we can get his uh, brother Tiny, Tiny on the team, that's the uh, that's the dream, boys. That's the dream. We got a couple Peckhams uh, and a Peacock. We got Peckhams and Peacocks. What's the other one? Is there any other ones besides that in here? I don't think so. So let's go ahead. Go to the top, see if we got any cocks, any dicks, anything like that. Let's see, let's go through. I saw an Astra Popolopolis, uh, whatever that one might be. Ben DeHan, that's one of my favorites right there. Let's see. Boss, we got our boy Boss. Earl Boss, very nice. Let's see, do we have a Cox? Come on, please. Come on, this guy happened. We got Chow. What's that, guys? Tom Chow. Uh, no, no, come on, come on, boys, please, 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 oh, oh, uh, Austin Cox, then we got a Gary Creamer and a Jacob Creamer, so two nice Creamers there, we got David Crosby, Sidney Crosby's son, we've got Vase Dag Diagel, um, do we have, let's see, we got the big boy down here, this is, we got Dingman, we got a nice, uh, Edward Dingman, Jacob Dimitrikos, that's a cool name, Oh, we got Donald Trump, and we got Junior Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, let's see. Come on. Oh, nope. No dicks. Sorry, boys. Damn, one of these times we're going to be, we're going to do it. I see people sending me names all the time. We've had a couple funny ones, um, but nothing. I remember early was a really good one. That's probably my favorite one uh, of the bunch. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's get into this draft. This is going to be a longer one just because we do have so many picks. So we'll try to uh, go a little bit quicker um, just because we do uh, have all those exact elites. So that's pretty much who I'm going to be snagging up. So let's go ahead and start the draft. I think we're picking number nine. Um, so we'll see these top guys. We'll see who we get down to us. Hopefully that AJ Ashton uh, drops to us. I really like his overall. Let's go ahead and sim the first pick, see what we've got. So it is, what's this guy's name? Andrew Hale. 81 overall, medium elite at 18 years old. 85s across the board for this guy. Holy shit. Uh, he looks pretty goddamn good. Discipline's up there. Poise is up there already, too. So he'll be a good pick for Edmonton. Uh, pair him with Connor McDavid. Oh, and Ashton got taken second overall. This is the guy I was hoping would fall down to us. Um, looks pretty good, though. Medium elite. Two-way forwards. So we have two two-way forwards get taken there. Uh, Chucko, our boy Keith Chucko. Ugh. Gets taken 74 overall, so he won't start in the NHL his first year. 17 years old, though, so not bad. Let's see what else we've got. Huxley. Ugh, Jesus. Timothy Huxley, medium top six. Um, good shooting stats, so he'll be a beast. A sniper there. Uh, so not bad at all on that guy. Let's go ahead to the next pick. What we got? Ooh, 79 overall. Gene Brown uh, goes to Nashville. He's got some very good stats. This guy looks like he's going to be a stud as well. Power forward, though, so might not score a ton of points. Uh, we've got Trent Dumba there. Who had a top six? Did someone? Yeah, Huxley. Jeez, that's a bad pick right there. That's looking worse and worse. There's another one, Peener. Uh, Brett Peener <laughs> gets taken there. I know that's probably not how you pronounce the name, but it's a little, it's more, it's, it makes me happy. So just let me be happy. Andrew Kahn's is another guy, the WHL. He was uh, pretty decent as well. I was looking at him. Offensive defenseman too. I really wanted that. And let's go ahead and make our pick with number nine overall. Who is still left out of those uh, top players? We've got Konopka, who I was also looking at a lot. He looks pretty half decent. Uh, exact top four. And then we got this guy, Adrian Panayi who his stats look pretty good so he's probably in the mid 70s um is there anybody else that we maybe want to drop down and grab up i feel like we should probably just take whoever's in the top 10 um do we have any elites that were in the first round rated no well we do have this guy willie brody but he looks like he's probably in the 60s we got our boy jonas iverson who man i hope we have let me see do we have i think i think we have another first round pick don't we no, we don't. When's our next second round pick? Because I really don't want to miss out on that guy. So the 7th. Oh, man. And the 12th. Okay. Or no, the 11th. And then we have the uh, 16th as well. So we have three second round picks all earlier. Oh, man. It's going to be tight butthole time, boys, if we can let that boy fall to us. I'm not sure if we'll be able to. Or we should maybe trade back. Because like I said, I'm not too high on any of these guys. Um, Kelvin Kanopka. Stats, he's probably low, low 70s, if that, with his stats that I'm just looking at right now. 18 years old, exact top four. Or do I just want to take this chance? 
let's see if we can trade back. So let's call a timeout. Let's see if we can trade back to about where we want to be. We'll be, we'll go about the 20th spot. So let's see San Jose. Do they want to give up the pick? If not, we'll go back a little bit further. So is the Pittsburgh Penguins pick that they have there. So let's go to our draft pick. We'll add that. They don't want it though. So that is going to be a, my, uh, my, maybe a little bit of a problem. Let's see here. So you have the 56th overall. So let's see if we can do a, fir a second. And just so we can get those guys in the later rounds, let's see if we can get a fifth as well. So can we trade our ninth overall pick to San Jose for a first, a second, and a fifth? Will they take it? Let's just see. Just because, let's just try it out. Uh, let's try to get a sixth in there as well. Uh, just see if they're dumb enough to take that. Trade accepted. Woohoo! That that's, that makes me happy. Um, I know you guys might be saying that is so dumb. You should just take one of those guys. I really, really, really think that one of those guys later on are going to be uh, a lot better. So let's see uh, for our boy. A second next year and a fourth this year. Man, that guy was really terrible. He was terrible for us. Um, Anisimov, of the goalie can say, ooh, medium elite. Let's see, 57, 57, 63. Oh, man, guys, I'm nervous. Let's see who got taken. Okay, so 67 and Kanopka sees, okay, so trash pick. So we, we were right to trade it away pretty much because uh, we weren't really going to get either anything out of either of those guys. I, I was going to go Kanopka, 64 overall. I'm happy I traded that away, to be honest with you. 60, yeah, yeah, no way, no, no way. And look at the talent. It's all the same thing. All the same stuff all the way back. So that was a hell of a trade by us, boys. Hell of a trade. Finesse them super hard. Uh, let's see what we've got. We've got Harvey here. Jacob Harvey, top six. 18 years old. He looks just as good as everybody else. But let's go. Where's our boy? Should we do it or should I trade down again? <laughs> trade down again and snag up some more picks just so I can grab these guys. Let's try it. So let's go back to the 26. Do they want to give up their pick? Move a couple spots down. No, they don't. Let's go ahead and exit. I want the team to want to give up their pick just because it's a little bit easier to trade for it. Philly, I know I don't like trading with you guys. Do you want to give it up? You do. So let's go into our draft picks. Add the Pittsburgh Penguins pick. And let's see if we can get a fourth and a fifth. And a third for next year. And I'll be happy with that if we can get that. Probably not. I mean, eh. let's see. Trade rejected. Yeah, so let's take out the... The fourth from this year. Keep the third. Trade accepted. Okay, I'll take that again. Just to move down a couple spots. Philly, they must have really wanted to move up. So let's send to our user pick. Hopefully none of our guys get taken. A second and a third for next year. That's not bad value for that guy. We took him, I think, in the sixth round. And the Stars want to give up their first, the 30th overall for that guy. Wow. Uh, we're going to have to say no. Pekka gets taken. Ooh, Bartlett gets taken. Oh, my God. Young gets taken. Another elite. All 50, 60 overall for this guy. What was his uh, age? 17 years old, too. Not bad. Who'd Philly end up taking? Uh, a nobody, 59 overall goalie. Oh, look at this guy, Aish. Where was he from? United States? Damn, I can't believe I didn't see this guy. 63 overall. Elite. Uh, so a lot of elites get taken. Let's hope we can follow up. We're going to go with one of our boys. Which one is listed higher that we should take? So Willie Brody scouted him 11 times. He looks like he's going to come out to be 68 for aggressiveness, 66 by checking, low 70s for defense. He'll probably be a mid-60 overall, I want to say. Mid-60 overall, high elite. So we'll see if he comes out to high elite. Make the pick. My dog is going crazy in her cage. And 58 overall, top, top six forward. Low top six, too. So not the best pick that we could have made there. Uh, a little disappointed. But let's go ahead. Send to the next user pick. See what we've got. Hopefully our boy is still there. We'll decline that trade as well. Decline that as well. Man, I should just take him off. Oh, my God. 80. Oh, no, that was the guy we wanted. Jonas Iverson. No. That's the exact dude I wanted to take. Oh, come on, Minnesota. Fuck you. Look at him. 80 overall defensive defenseman, guys. Holy shit. Oh, it could have been ours. I'm going to have to tell my dog to be quiet. Holy shit. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. How? <laughs> Two picks ahead of ours, too. Our big boy, Jonas Iverson. I should have taken him instead of fucking Willie. God damn it. Look at that endurance. Oh, 92 overall, 94 durability, 95 shot blocking. Fuck, what's his trade value? Can we trade for him, maybe? Holy shit, offer a trade. God, oh, I'm so mad right now. Can we trade Willie Brody for him? I would be. I would gladly do that. Trade Willie Brody in a second for him. Let's see, where is he at? He... Oh, he's got decent trade value too. Fuck, I want him on my squad. I want him on my squad. Where's Willie Brody? Damn, Brody's tra or Willie's trade value isn't even probably as high as his. Oh my god, what a fucking steal that was. Let's see, we'll go in, give up a draft pick way down the road. Do a little cheese here. 
So we'll give them a second for them. So they get their value back. They get a first, and we get our boy. Trade rejected. Oof. Um, I know down the road I'm going to regret it, but we'll get the pick back. Damn, we have a lot of picks for this year's draft. I don't know if we have that many guys. Uh, so what's the very last first-round pick I can give up? So I'll give up a first. But I would also want back for that same year's draft. Give me a, let's see, give me a second. Give me, actually, give me a third. And we'll call it even. We'll call it even for my big fuck up. Proposed trade, trade accepted. I'll take it. I know it's probably overvalued, but god damn it, that guy. 80 fucking overall. Holy shit. And he's on our squad now. Senses need to get up, but god damn, this guy's going to be a fucking stud. He's going on the team right away, boys. And we'll see how he grows. Oh, man, I'm excited about that. Oh, fuck you, Willie Brody. <laughs> Get off my team. Um, we got Darius Kasparitis' son here, Vital Vitali, Vitali Kasparitis. Damn, we really got to look for those overalls, too. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody else? Top six. Low top six. Tupa, Tupa Rainin. Let's see. Elites. Let's see if there's anybody else in the second round. Because I think there was another guy who was supposed to go second. So we got these guys. See, I feel like these guys fucking changed. Like, I feel like there are more elites, but maybe not. Um, Svitov there, Tuparain is up there with the top six, what did we scout him twice, don't have a lot of information on him, what's this guy, Nelson Kong, top four, seventh round pro projected though, god damn, we're gonna be snagging all these boys up, um, so we got seventh, sixth, fourth, this is the earliest guy that we have, this Tuka, Tuparain, and I know Winnipeg loves their, uh, their Finnish boys, so we'll go ahead and grab him up, and then we'll start taking our elites, uh, so top nine, uh, 60 overall, so nothing special there. 71 overall, Arizona, too, Connolly. Holy shit, where were these guys at? Where was he, United States? Fuck. Look at that skating category. He is a fucking speedster, guys. Oh, my God, this draft is insane. I can't remember if I went and checked the ends. We'll go back and do that real quick. 55. Oh, my God, this bottom six. Dallas, fucking Christ. <laughs> we should have taken that trade from Dallas, and we would have taken our boy straight up, and we wouldn't have had to worry about trading away a first for him. Uh, sim options, sim to the next user pick. Let's see what we've got. Decline, decline. We already missed the chance to trade him. Seventh defenseman, yeeks. Um, so we've got top six. Let's see what we've got here for the rest of this round. Anything special? I got Kasparaitis, top nine forward. But he's low league interest. Top nine forward, medium, high league interest for him. Marcel Del Rome, 19 years old too. So he's got some, uh, he's got some age on. What's this guy? 17 years old now. We'll stay away from him. This guy, no, nothing special. This guy we scouted 10 times. He's in the exact bottom six. Um, let's see, I'm looking for those older guys. I hate that you can't, like, just skip through these guys. You got to click out and go back into every single one. EA, that's one to go next year. Ooh, this guy might be good. Medium top nine forward. Uh, high league interest, boom, taking him. Let's see what we got. 77 overall, top six four. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Ricard Laugenin. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it, but they've got speed, 88, 88, 90 speed. Oh, shot blocking, 90, stick checking, 84. Oh, offensive word is 91. Holy shit, this guy's a stud. Oh my God, what a pick for that one. Grab Just, just grab the 20-year-olds. That's all you got to do, guys. Grab all the 20-year-olds uh, you can find in the draft, and they will... Uh, They'll turn up for you. So we got 80 overall Iverson. We got this scrub here. And now we got uh, Lajnan, <laughs> I guess is his name. What's his first name? Ricard. Ricard Lajnan. Whatever. Whatever. Sure. Sure. We'll go with that. Send the next user pick. This is going to be the greatest draft ever, boys. I swear to God. This is going to be insane. Uh, so with Sador, there was another elite. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. He was the 17-year-old guy. 63 overall, too. Not bad. Uh, I'm still happy with our pick, though. I wouldn't want to see that guy go anywhere but our team. Finally, we get one like that. Let's see if we have any more 20-year-old guys. What's Kasparitis? He's 18. Hanula, 17. Stevens, no. Top 9, 18. 19, 18. Goalie, Dylan Boss. we got a lot of bosses in this draft. This must be the Boss family coming up. 18, still nothing. 18. I just want to try this again. Just is, are all 20-year-olds in the draft just like straight studs? This guy's not bad. High top nine forward, 19 years old. Decent looking stats. Probably going to come out to be a low, low 60. Oh, here we go again, boys. Let's try it again. So we have medium top nine, 20-year-old grinder, 20-year uh, uh, high league interest. Let's see what we got. Make the pick. 
Okay, medium top six forward, 64 overall, not bad. I know he's already at that stage where he's probably uh, cuttable, but we'll see. Maybe he'll grow. He's got uh, six years of development left. It's not bad. Medium top six, probably some decent trade bait. So let's go ahead and send the next user pick. Let's see what we've got. Decline. Jesus Christ, it's going to come up constantly. Del, Ro Del, uh, Del Rome. Delorme. I don't know why I was saying Del Rome. I'm thinking of Jake Delome. The sunshine's coming home. Jake Delome. There's Wild. I was looking at him a couple times, I think. Casperitis, 55. Stevens, 55. Nothing else really special. So let's go ahead and make our next pick. We're going to get into those elites soon, I think, boys. We're in the second round now. Uh, we still got tons of picks, though. So let's go ahead and see. What's this guy? Pollock, low top nine, 18. Peterson, 18. Paco. I really want to see if it works the same way for goalies, too. If we can find a... Uh, still look at that guy, yeah. All right. My dog is still going crazy, scratching her cage. I hope you guys can't hear that. <laughs> Let's see. But we have Guerrero, top nine forward. High league interest again. Let's go ahead and snag him up, see what we got with him. 68 overall. Okay, 68 overall, 20 years old. Carl Guerrero. Uh, decent stats. So, I mean, these guys can all play in your uh, AHL system. So I can just let go of all those scrubs that I've been holding on to and just make it all uh, young guns. So let's go ahead and send the next user pick here. So we've got in the third round, what's it looking like? We're just going to start going into our elite pool. More than likely, yes. Let's see. End of the round. Had some nice picks that round. I'm very happy with that uh, That picks. Ooh, Wilkinson actually turned out to be pretty solid. 19 years old, 60 overall. Not bad. Not better than 55, I'll tell you that. Boss. Ooh, low starter. Okay. Dylan Boss. Let's go ahead and make our pick now. I hope that's not getting picked up by the mic. <laughs> so bad. Uh, LaRose, where do you? Let's see if there's anybody else that we can snag. Uh, goalies. We got a couple goalies here. They're 20 years old. 17, Gene Jung and Gord Gardner. <laughs> some some great names. Um, top nine forward. No league interest. This guy's high league interest. 17 years old, though. Let's just start going for those elites. See what we've got with them. I know we have a lot of seventh round picks. Um, but we'll see if we can snag any guys up. So let's see. We'll start with, let's see. These guys are all seventh. We'll go with this fourth round guy and see what he's. No league interest. Um, high elite. Stats look pretty good. Uh, 80 overall durability, 79 agility for a defensive defenseman who's 6'4". It's not terrible. Uh, and then we have Med, Medvinov, medium elite though, so we're not sure on him. Jamie Pollock, Polis, Polisek, and then uh, Ronnie Perrin. Ooh, this guy might be a stud. I think I want to go with this guy. Sixth round pick, though, so we'll wait on him. We'll grab the fourth round guy just because he's the earliest that we have. So let's see what he, we've got from uh, Svitov. What are you going to come out to be? Low top 461 overall. Okay, so we didn't really, I didn't really expect much. I don't know what you guys were expecting from him. But uh, media, uh, low top 4, 18 years old, 61 overall is better than bottom 659. I'll tell you that much. Uh, so I'm not too upset about that. Let's go back into the second round. I can't remember if I checked the uh, last picks or not. Yeah, we did. We saw Wilkerson. So let's go ahead and see what our next pick is going to be. Do we have another pick in the third round? I'm not sure. Yes, we do. Any studs get taken? Low top six, low top nine, low top nine. Nothing really special. Medium starter, not bad. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. I saw 60 overall. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our next pick. Do we want to grab one of the exact elites? I kind of want to grab that uh, top six guy. Let's see. So what do we got? Was it this guy? 20 years old? Or was it this guy? Yeah, it was this guy, Ronnie Perrin. Um, 6'1", 216. Defensive stats don't look that great. 81 for shot blocking. He's a right winger with 71 faceoffs. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, speed looks okay, 84 overall. He's probably going to be a 90 overall in no time. Um, sixth round guy. So let's go ahead. What's this guy? 18 years old, Cristiano Rabbit. Uh, let's go ahead and take Perrin. Top six. What's it going to be? 65 overall top nine forward. So our prospect pool is going to be deep, boys. Deep. Uh, I like it. Ronnie Perrin. Nice pick there. 65 overall top nine forward. Again, better than a bottom 655 overall. So our scouting, it seems like pinning it. I don't know if it worked more or if we were just lucky that all the players were in the WHL. So I didn't have to scout anything but that league. And ended up coming out with a bunch of studs. So let's go back and see what the end of the third round had in store. So there's Perrin, 56, 59, 55, 59, nothing special. Ray first, <laughs> Ray first, and then Hartiknanen gets taken there. 54 overall, yeeks. Lindros, Kopp, Pakkanarainen, <laughs> 55 over 59. Uh, a lot of Finnish names getting taken there. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. Anybody who looks like a stud? So we got a high top nine, 
Oh, high top nine. Oh, you guys know I've been, I've been, I've been eating up them high top nine, 20 years old. Jimmy Witherspoon. There was another guy. Who was the other guy? I think it was just that guy. But let's see. What do we got? So everything's like sixth and seventh rounders, I think. Let's see. Yeah, so sixth and seventh rounders. This Is is that the guy that I was just looking at? Where's the guy I was just looking at? Top four D-man. Who was it? What was I just looking at that guy? Was he top six or was he top top nine? So he's high top nine. Okay. 20 years old, Pascal Richard. Let me just go look at my picks real quick just to see what I have. Offer a trade. Let's go in and see what we've got in store. Jeez, I'm going to have so many prospects to sign. I hope I have a lot of guys to let go. Uh, so we have fourth. A lot of this. So yeah, we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll just grab those guys up after this. So we'll grab that uh, that Richard guy right here. Uh, I think we should have plenty of picks to grab all those uh, sixth and seventh round elites. So let's go and grab them. Uh, let's make sure it's the right guy first. High top nine. Pascal Richard, 20 years of age. High league interest. Let's see what we've got from him. Okay, 65 overall, top nine, still not bad. This guy can play in the AHL if we want. Uh, we might not have the best squad, but they'll hopefully develop. We'll see how they do. I can just let everybody go in the AHL, though. It's insane. Uh, let's see. Still getting offered trades. Okay, so fifth round. Hopefully none of our boys get taken. Ooh, nice pick there. Darcy Tavares, medium top nine, 59 overall, so not bad there. Uh, 57, so we are really eating up all the picks here, boys. They, no one else is really... Uh, able to snag him up so i saw a couple 60s just uh speeding through there paco gets taken one of our peckams ranger what's his name bill ranger <laughs> 19 years old medium top nine low top six there it's 53 overall so we'll see if he develops low top four 64 overall uh medium top six and another one gets taken right before him another one right before that downing 65 another one 65 another 65 holy crap there's a run on 65 overall players there uh witherspoon was as well as 65 top nine so a lot of those those type of uh picks here in this draft so let's go ahead and make our pick it's going to be one of those elites probably the one in the sixth round let's see it's going to be those let's see wasn't one of them was one of them 20 years old or were they 19 19 him 18 bow milk 19 and Paton 17 okay so they're all seventh rounders so let's go ahead and take uh, this jenkins here first he has high league interest. He looks, uh, he'll probably come out to be like a 65 overall. We'll see if he comes out to be elite though. Let's take that pick. Okay, medium top six forward, 60, 60 overall. Uh, still, still not bad. I'm happy with that. Let's go to sim option, sim to the next user pick. Shouldn't be too far after that one. 53, 65, Olsen, not bad there. 64. But yeah, guys, I got to say, it's just a uh, pre-verdict. Ooh, Char, Car, Carl, <laughs> Carl, Surge Carl, uh, low elite, 19 years old. Nice pick there. For, uh, who was that? Cal, uh, the Hurricanes, Cal or Carolina. Jesus Christ. Um, but just like I was saying, so far, boys, it looks pretty good pinning those players. I'm not sure if we just got lucky that, like I said, the uh, whole draft was in the WHL, but uh, it's not looking bad for right now. Um, I got no league interest to some of those guys. So let's grab. We'll go with the Enforcer. We'll go with Kip, my boy Kip Burhowski. 6'5. Oh, that's a big fucking boy. Let's see what he is. Okay, low elite, 69, nice, <laughs> 19 years old, uh, very nice body checking, 89 strength, 94, this boy probably has like a 400 pound bench press, 6'5", 241, 19 years old with 94 strength, oh geez, I'm gonna have to play with the minor league squad just to see, do another video just to see how these guys all look and how they all play, so I'll build that up hopefully, I'll have to ditch all of my other prospects that I had. Uh, Desjardins there, low elite, Jerome, Desjardins, and Desjardins, probably not Desjardins, Desjardins, <laughs> uh, let's see, where was that, there we are, right there, and then Carl is like, okay, so we didn't, didn't really miss too much, let's go ahead and see what we've got, and I'm sure I missed that guy the first time around, but let's go ahead and take our next guy, I see Polacek, Polac coming up, what was he, 18 years old, doesn't look like anything special, high top six, I'd rather go with these elites, um, and just take these guys, from here on out. So let's go ahead and grab uh, Len Bomilk. Bomick. Uh, does, I don't think he's going to be a too high overall, but exact elite. So let's see what he is. Low elite, 58 overall, uh, 19 years old. So not bad. Um, does he have any stats that really stand out? Not really. No 94 strength on him. Sim to the next user pick. And let's see where we are. So one pick row got between us. So let's grab our, our next elite. And hopefully in the seventh round, uh, we can find a guy. Because I want to show you as well, I think... 
is it Dallas or some? I think no, Columbus. Columbus has a guy they drafted in the seventh round who I think he's like 83 overall, uh, and is like second year. So we'll see. That is nuts. Yuri Medvinov. Um, let's grab our no league interest. We'll go here with uh, who is this? What was Kip Bus? So we got Kip Hop. Behet, be, what was the other guy's name? Bahowski. Kip Bahowski, and now we got Kip Bus. Put them on the same line together. Grinder, low elite. Ooh, 52 overall, though, for an 18, 18 years old. So not bad. Uh, he's definitely not going to be playing in the AHL his first year, though. So let's see. Go to the next pick in this in the sixth round. Hopefully none of our boys got snagged up. Uh, ooh, oh, Nielsen, 19 years old, low elite, 67 overall. Nice pick there by uh, LA. Not bad, not bad. Fifth round, what was at the end of it? Let's take a look. We had all our picks. Legacy, Cormier, Kames, Jaskin, so nothing really special. This has been this has been a nice draft, though. I'll say that. It's been a very uh, very exciting draft. We had a lot of nice uh, nice scouting done, finally. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, let's go ahead and see. Ooh, so here he is, our boy, Jamie Polacek. I think, I think we grab him. High top six. I think we have a couple more picks left. We have one more elite, and is he a seventh-round guy? Yeah, seventh-round, no league interest. And how old is he, Paton? He is 17, so he's probably not going to be high overall. Polchak is 18. Who's this guy right here? Tommy Austin. Ooh, let's grab him. 20 years old. Damn, his face-off's 49. That's probably the lowest I've ever seen, even though he is a creative player. Um, but we, I don't think we have grabbed many defensemen so far, so let's go ahead and grab uh, Tommy Austin here and see what he comes out to be. 62 overall, low top four. Okay, so not terrible. And we, I think we have taken actually a couple defensemen, so that's my bad, but still. Not bad. Top four, 62 overall. He'll be decent, 20 years old. Uh, we'll see if he develops. What's our next pick? Do we have any more in the sixth round, or do we have to have two sevenths, I think? Okay, so we do have one more in the sixth, and I think we have a seventh as well. So it's this guy, Le Cavalier, 65 overall, 20-year-old uh, sniper. Oh, LaBelle, 73 overall, 19 years old. Maurice LaBelle. Very nice pick there. Any other high overalls get taken here in the late round? Doesn't look like it. Enforcer, seventh defense. What's his strength? 80 overall. Psh, psh. We got 94 overall strength on our boy. Get out of here with that weak shit. Come on, man. 94 strength. I cannot wait to play with that guy in the AHL. So let's go ahead and grab Baton just because he is an exact elite. Uh, does Medvinov? He had no league interest as well. So let's go ahead and grab Baton. Uh, Medvinov is probably going to get taken. But okay, so Baton, low elite, 52 overall. Um, we'll probably wait to sign him for a couple of years. No stats that really uh, stand out there. Let's go ahead sim to the next user pick. It should be our seventh. I'm not sure if we have two or just one. So we'll go ahead and slowly sim through that, or I'll just go check. Jeez, a lot of 60s overalls in this uh, seventh round, so not bad there. Uh, let's see if Medvinov, Med Medvedov got taken. Getzlov, 53 overall, elite. Schroeder there as well, Ray. Freeze, 65 overall. I got a guy named Freeze. Also, let me do that real quick. I'm going to call a timeout, and I'm going to show you that guy from Columbus just because I was looking for guys to trade for, and I really wanted to try to get him. But uh, there's no way Columbus was giving him up. He's a stud. Uh, so we'll go in here. Um, where is he? Tarasov. Yeah, this guy. 86 he's now. He's an 86 overall. Drafted in the seventh round, 2020. So three years ago. Um, look at Victor Tarasov. 22 years old. Low elite. 86 overall. 90s in all defense. Shooting is insane. Uh, skating, he's super fucking fast. Deking's a 96. Oh, 91 offensive awareness. He is offensive defenseman too, so he should be putting up the numbers. Let's take a look at his stats. Uh, so not really that crazy. Five goals, 20 assists. I would have thought more for an offensive defenseman with those kind of numbers. But hell, put that guy on my Buffalo GM and he will fucking rake. I swear to God. But yeah, Buffalo, or not Buffalo, uh, Columbus is stacked with a lot of good defensemen there. So it is getting interesting over there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and make our pick and see what we've got. Oh, he's still there for us. What do you know? Uh, let's just go ahead and sort, though, and see if there's anybody better. Just because I don't think he's going to come out uh, to be that good. No league interest here. What's this guy? Graham Agon. He doesn't look bad. 80s overall in some uh, some categories. It's not bad there. Um, let's see. This guy, President Agon. Ooh, 20 years old. Eh, his stats don't look that good, though, so he's probably not going to come out that high. Um, what's this guy? Hmm, no, he won't come out high either. Kraus, we have no idea. Clinton Kraus, ooh, that could be one to watch. We got this guy, Dodge, offensive defenseman, 17 years old. What was he going to be? Exact top six. Probably going to take a couple years to get that. Oh, Brandon Sexsmith. Ooh, we do have a Cox, Austin Cox. Hey, Brandon, Brendan Sexsmith. 
Uh, nice name there. I didn't know that one was in the game. That's pretty good. Um, Regan, Reagan, uh, 20 years of age there. So a lot of good guys that come out, come out to be some studs here. Um, I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous about this pick. Uh, let's see. Agon, Grandma Gone, 19 years old. Probably not going to be that good. President God, no. It was this guy, Cabinot. No, who was it? It was this other, this, the other Prez, Prez Hog, Pre, Perez Hogan. Um, but I don't think he's going to come out to be that high. Who was the other guy? Was it Kraus? Low top nine. Oh, we're unsure. We don't think that that's right on him. Sniper, or do we go with Med? Vinov. Hmm. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go with Kraus, the Canadian Clinton Kraus, uh, for the Barry Colts. Let's see what he is. 20 years old. I'm. I not. I might regret this, but we'll see. Okay, medium top 962 overall. I'll take it. That's not bad. Clinton Kraus. Uh, not bad. Shot blocking's 80. Defense wearing a 72. Offensive 71. So not bad there. Sim options win. Sim pick. Let's see what they grab after us. Saint Jacques. Saint jo Jacques. Mike M Michel Saint Jacques. <laughs> I know it's French or something, but I just don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, let's go back and see. So we are out of picks for the rest of the draft. So we'll see what uh, Medvinov gets taken as sim options. Sim pick. Uh, oh, there was one of the guys. Uh, 18 years old. Was that his? Who do we take? We took Kraus. So yeah, glad we didn't go there. Sim pick to the next one. Okay, he's not bad. 61 overall. 55. Low elite grinder. Ooh, dodge. I wasn't thinking about taking that guy. Travelan. Justin. Not bad. 70 overall faceoffs. That's pretty good. Sim pick. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Bad pick from Detroit. Ooh, Kulikov. Low elite. Ooh, look at those stats though. 52 overall, so he might never develop. Uh, we'll see. Some of these guys do get just crazy jumps for no reason. Um, like, I had a guy on my team who went from a 78 to an 83 overall. I did have him playing... Ooh, Kabanov, not bad there. Medium top nine. I did have the guy that's a fucking I can I'll never pronounce that name. Bella Daniel Belle Foulier Foulier. <laughs> Daniel Belle Foulier. Uh 55 overall there. Uh Agon gets taken. Uh top nine, 19 year old, 64 overall. So not a bad pick. He is a tiny motherfucking dude though. 5'9. That's a small boy. Uh Kong gets taken. Nothing special. Damn. Oh, man. McBride. Holy shit. 75 overall. 19 years old, too. George McBride. That might be the steal of this. Se oh. <laughs> Is skating category, boys, while I'm freaking out here. Whoa. 95, 94, 95. This guy is so fucking fast. I want to trade for him. Offer trade. McBride from Anaheim. Please don't have high trade value. I'll trade two of my uh, prospects that I grabbed up. Where's he at? That dude is a fucking speedster. There he is. Uh, <laughs> George McBride. Get on my team, fool. Get on my fucking team. Let's go ahead and just trade a bunch of the bums that we took. Um, so we have this guy. <laughs> you know, I grabbed up uh, Alexander Ovechkin, the defensive defenseman from Washington. Or no, that's the guy we drafted. There was another guy uh, that Washington had who was a defenseman as well, Ovechkin. They offered him as a trade, and I almost uh, I almost took the bait, but not uh, not so much. Not so much. Let's see. Damn, I don't know who to trade. Um, damn, we got a lot of high trade value guys here. Who's this guy? We did we take him this year? Dwayne Jenks. I cannot remember. We've had so many fucking picks this draft. Uh, we got Dingle, Jesus Dingle. That's another great name too, Jesus Dingle. Um, but let's see. God damn, we have so many prospects. Um, and we also have so many guys who are like kind of decent. Um, so we have T. Pecker there. Damn, I don't know who to trade. We need to get rid of some of these guys though. We have too too many prospects right now. Just chilling. 24 years old, 75, Cedarholm. Let's put him in there. Um, Dixon, Coupier, 75. Damn, I got all these guys that are like half decent. McCallum, we'll get rid of him. 66 overall at that age. Probably not going to develop. Oh, my God, we have so many fucking prospects, guys. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we're not going to be able to keep them all. Stanley, this guy's been disappointing. Medium top six, 75 overall. He just has not developed. And now, uh, let's see. I think uh, Haglund's deal is up anyway. Oh, he has two years left. We'll see if they take him. So let's see if that's if that, is that enough to get that boy. McBride, we'll get rid of three guys. Trade rejected. Let's go. Come on, let me go back. Damn, did you see also our uh, how much money we've spent? We've spent no money. Uh, 69 overall for this guy. Seventh round pick in last year's draft. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. He's pretty quick too. I'll give him up though just because we need to get some of these guys out of here because we're not going to be able to sign all the guys that we have right now. Who's this guy? Dumba. 71 overall. Brad Dumba. Take him. Oh, we can't trade him. He's our first pick in 2020. 
McShane, this was a guy I took on just to see if maybe he'll develop. I don't really know if I want to deal with that, though. 68 overall. His contract's up, though, but we'll add him in and see if they take it. It's going to put him over the trade. Okay, trade accepted. So we got just a bunch of guys, grabbed a fucking speed demon in George McBride. Oh, my God, I cannot. I'm definitely going to do a video uh, in a little bit here, boys, probably tomorrow where uh, or today, depending on when I upload this. Um, where I just play with his AHL team just to fuck around because these guys are studs. <laughs> this is insane. I don't know if it'll really make an effect, but maybe we can just watch the game and just see how it goes. See how these big boys play. Fitzpatrick there, low elite 55 overall, not bad. I want Fitzpatrick. Toronto, who are you going to take? Bad pick there for Toronto with the way this seventh round has been going. Uh, Nugent Hopkins is taking low top four, uh, 65 overall, medium top nine, 20 years old as well. Ethan Walker, not bad. He's pretty quick himself. Let's go ahead. Who's Philly going to take? 64 overall. So that was the other uh, Perez Hogan, 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 uh, top nine, 20 years old. Not bad. Nothing that really stands out to me though. Sim options. Whew, man, this was a hell of a draft. I got to say, boys, this is probably the most intense, probably the best draft that I've seen. Uh, go through so far. Tamo, Suminen, um, Dallas there with the 30th pick. Gets Berg, not a bad pick there. 20 years old, uh, 65 overall. And Tampa Bay with the final pick. Who are you going to take? Let's see if we can see it real quick. 61 overall, top six D man. So there are our picks. There were a fucking lot of them. I'm going to have to sign up. That's enough for an AHL squad right there. Uh, but I'll make some trades, uh, deal some other guys, and we'll see who we end up on our AHL squad. Um, in the next video, maybe we'll, uh, we'll either play it or I'll just let it sim and just watch it and maybe commentate on it. Um, so we'll see boys, but thanks for watching this video guys. Peace.